Hello, welcome to Prism Technologies. In our previous session, we have seen how to install C compiler in Windows operating system. In today's session, I will show you how to install C compiler in Linux by enabling Windows subsystem for Linux in Windows. On June 12, 2019, Microsoft released a stable version of Windows subsystem for Linux. With this feature, you can able to launch Linux terminal in Windows like our Windows command prompt so that you can able to use all Linux commands and programs in Windows itself. This feature is available only in 64-bit Windows operating systems and the version should be at least 16.07 or can be greater than that. In order to check your Windows version, please press Windows button and search for Windows Update Settings and then select the option Windows Update Settings in the search results. When I am making this video, my Windows version is 19.09. It should be 16.07 or can be greater than that. If your Windows version is less than that, then click on check for updates. Once you update your Windows to latest version, again click on Windows button and search for Control Panel. In Control Panel, click on Programs and then select Turn Windows Features on or off under Programs and Features. Now, you will see a pop-up with list of Windows features. In this list, find Windows Subsystem for Linux and enable it. After that, click on OK and wait for some time until the changes are applied. Once the changes are applied, you will see a dialog box with Restart Now. Click on Restart Now. After restarting your computer, press Windows button and search for Microsoft Store. In Microsoft Store, search for Ubuntu. While I am making this video, 18.04 is a stable version of Ubuntu. Click on Install. After completing the download, click on launch and a new Linux terminal will be opened. It might take 10 to 20 minutes to complete the installation. After completing the installation, you will be prompted to create a new username and password. Finally, we have successfully installed Linux Terminal in Windows. Now, I am trying to create a new project called ctutorials. Use the command mkdir to do that. Just enter mkdir folder name. In my case, I am entering mkdir ctutorials and hit enter. Now, a new directory is created with the name ctutorials. Before going to write a C program, first we should need to do some upgradations. Just enter this command in your terminal. sudo apt update. Enter your password and hit enter. Once the package list updation is completed, then enter below command sudo apt get upgrade. Based on your bandwidth, this command might take 20 to 30 minutes to complete the upgradation.
Once the upgradation is completed, now we should need to install C compiler. Enter the command sudo apt-get install gcc. This also might take 10 to 15 minutes to download and install gcc compiler. After completing the installation of GCC compiler, now we should need to download and install GNU debugger. Just enter the command sudo apt-get install gdb. This will install GNU debugger in our system. This also may take 10 to 15 minutes to complete the installation. Now we are ready to write our first C program. vim space hello world.c. Here hello world.c is the file name and hit enter. Now vim editor will be opened. In that press i to enter into insert mode. Now I am writing simple hello world program. After finishing the program, press escape colon wq to save and exit from the editor. Now compile the program using the command gcc space filename.c that is gcc space hello world.c. After successful compilation, we will get an executable file named as a.out. Just enter dot slash a.out to execute the program. Now if you see here, hello world message is printed onto the screen. Finally, we have successfully installed C compiler in Linux by enabling Windows subsystem for Linux. That's all for this session. In our next session, we will see different phases of compiler. Thank you for listening. See you later in next session.